my dear The forecast ain't clear So will you please light my way And lead this old man's sleigh I said Rudolph, my friend Once more will you lend The red nose or heaven knows How this sleigh ride will end Welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. I nearly said August Vlogs again. Um, today we are going on a handmade blanket hunt. Um, I've got quite a lot of handmade blankets in the house. Um, not all made by me, made by family and friends and things like that, as well as ones made by me. And I thought it might be fun to hunt them all down and share them. So here is handmade blanket number one. This absolutely gorgeous bedspread or quilt, depending on what you'd call it, was made for me um, by my mother-in-law. And isn't it beautiful? She used lots and lots of different Kath Kidston fabrics. Um, and it is absolutely stunning. We keep this one very special. And it only comes out at winter when it's cold and we need a little extra layer on our bed. Um, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of the nicest things that I feel like I own. Um, it's lined in this gorgeous blue fabric. Lined? Backed is what I mean, isn't it? And it's just the perfect size for a double bed. We have this basket in the lounge. Um, it's nothing fancy. I think I got it from B&Q. Um, but it's just a nice wicker basket. And in here live a lot of the blankets. Um, so let's start with this one, shall we? This blanket, let's see, I've left my tripod upstairs. I should have gone and got it really. Um, is this the right way around? Yes. So this blanket was last year's advent blanket. And I crocheted this using, again, minis from the Henny Penny Makes Advent Calendar. Um, I had 10 gram minis last year, so I just managed to get a square with eight rounds, I think it was, eight or nine rounds, um, out of each mini. And then I just bordered them. In fact, I'm using exactly the same grey um, for this year's blanket. Um, but I just bordered them with grey and joined them together. And I just love it. It's not a big blanket because obviously it was only... 24 10 gram minis um but it's lovely and it's a great little lap blanket for the sofa and what else have we got in here what else have we got in here um this one is a homemade blanket by my mum made this let's do you know i'm gonna put it on the floor hang on this be easier here we go so this is a homemade blanket. My mum made this when I was pregnant with Jasper. So this was Jasper's blanket. Um, I came up with the pattern for her. Not that it's anything complicated. It's just sections of garter stitch and then some stripes to fade into the next rainbow. Um, but yep, yeah, she knit the whole blanket and then I crocheted the border on because my mum doesn't crochet at all. Um, it's made out of, I think it's made out of style craft. It's just acrylic. Um, but it's been really good. Arthur tends to use it nowadays as a car blanket. So I'm not hundred percent sure why it's in the house. Right. Next. <laughs> this one. So this is a blanket that I crocheted absolutely ages ago. It was one of the first things that I crocheted. Um, I think I probably crocheted it when Arthur was a baby. I can't get it out flat. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I probably crocheted it when Arthur was a baby. Um, and it's a mix, I think. I think the pink and the purple are style craft. And I think the blue was Women's Institute. 
or actually it might have been a mix because I think I ran out of one of the blues so I must have swapped to a different a very similar blue but a different brand um but yeah this again 100% acrylic but it gets used a lot the boys use this a lot to play with it gets dragged around the house a lot um and it's fun it's colorful right then what have we got ah arthur's blanket if you've if you're a regular podcast viewer this will be familiar in fact, do you know what? I'm going to go and get my tripod and I'm going to set it up a little bit so that you can see this a bit better. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? You can see the whole blanket now. <laughs> Just about. Um, I crocheted this using minis from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane um, in 2018, I think. She did a colour of the month um, mini skein club or a colour of the month club and mini skeins were an option. Um, and each month was inspired by a different Disney film. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. I got the month, I got them each month throughout the year. Although I did miss November's, which are this one here. Um, <laughs> I did miss November's and um, I ended up, she actually gifted them to me, which was really, really kind of her. Um, but yeah, I turned them into a beautiful blanket for Arthur, which was finished relatively recently. And he does absolutely love it. Um, I'm not sure why it was buried at the bottom of the blanket box. He obviously hasn't used it for a few days. Um, but it's, yeah, it is getting a lot of love. And then the last one from the blanket box is this, which is my granny stripe blanket that I started oh, eons ago, goodness knows when, and gave up on quite quickly. Um, the rows were just far too long for me. Um, but it is really nice. I mean, it's double this width um, and it is lovely. And actually it makes quite a good kind of lap blanket. It fits just nicely over my lap and on the sofa. It makes quite a nice lap blanket this size. And I figure that at some point, if I really wanted to, I could always just pick it back up again and start adding it from this edge. Um, there are a few more blankets to show you yet. But they are hiding in other parts of the house. Right, excuse the noise in the background. Arthur is building a train track, which I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> um, but this is another blanket that had been hidden away. Um, although I say hidden away, it wasn't really hidden away because we use it really, really regularly. It lives pretty much folded up on the sofa for the kids to snuggle under. This is another one <laughs> that uh, my mother-in-law made um, and it belonged to Tom. She made it originally, they spent a year on a canal boat and she made it originally um, for the canal boat because it kind of matched the colours of the interior. And then when Tom went to uni, maybe, I'm not 100% sure I'm getting the story right, but I think when Tom went to uni, he took this one with him. And then when obviously it stayed with him ever since. So we now have it. It's very, very well used, well loved. Um, I need to repair it in a couple of spots because now the kids have used it so much. It's coming apart in a few places, um, but it's beautiful, isn't it? My mother-in-law is a very talented quilter and sewist. I love the patterns on the squares as well. I'm not quite sure why we're sat on the kitchen floor. But it seems like a good time for... The joke of the day! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got a joke for you today. It's a brilliant one. I think it said... Are you ready? Curly Fantastic Good. It's Curly Fantastic Good, is it? Yeah. <gasps> just right. like, like Jazzy. Ah, are you ready? What type of photos do elves take? 
I don't know. What kind of photos do elves take? Elfies! <laughs> <laughs> Joke bomb. So the last handmade blanket should be a familiar one. <laughs> this is the first ever scrappy blanket that I made. Um, it's obviously crocheted. It's very, very simple, just crocheted granny squares. In fact, this is kind of similar to what I'm doing with my advent blanket this time round, except this is only one colour of each square. Um, but yeah, this is massive. Um, if you watch the podcast, you will obviously see this regularly because it lives on the back of this sofa bed. But it is absolutely ginormous. It's double bed sized. And it is just the scraps of the scraps. And I started this when I first kind of got into hand-dyed yarn. So in here, there is, I'm trying to work out which end I need to be at. Somewhere in here, there's yarn from the first ever pair of socks that I knit. It must be, here we go. Yep, there you go. Yarn from the first ever pair of socks that I knit. That was Berger de France in the Imprim Rose colourway. Um, probably some of the first hand-dyed yarns I ever bought. Yep, there we go. This is a Rosie's Moments one, and I knit a pair of socks out of that. This is Mothy and the Squid, and I knit a pair of socks out of that. And then I started picking up some minis. So I think these five are minis from Rosie's Moments, um, and various kind of through that. And it even goes through into like the development of my my dying as well because um somewhere in here if i can find it let's see somewhere in here here we go is a yarn hand dyed by me and this one will have been hand dyed with food coloring it's one of the first kind of attempts i made at dyeing yarn using food coloring um, and in fact, if anybody's interested in dyeing yarn using food colouring and you've not done it before, I will pop up in the top of the screen somewhere a card because during, can't remember whether it was during May vlogs or August vlogs, but during one of the vlog series, uh, we did a little kind of tutorial that um, if you're interested in, that would be fun. Um, again, there's another one there. I think that might have been one of the first colours I dyed using acid yarns. Um, as is that one, that colourway was called Artie, it was inspired by Arthur and his love of the colour purple. Um, and then in here also there is my first ever self-striping colourway. Um, this was called Glacia, that's my first ever self-striping. And various other bits. Um, this is very much a memory blanket, there's lots of thick colours in here that remind me there you go there's um storm's end one of my self-striping colorways when it first released um yeah very much a memory blanket which is lovely um right what else was i gonna say so that's kind of all the blankets although there is this one which started life as a blanket and ended up becoming a cushion this was my battenberg blanket but i much prefer it as a cushion Right, last thing, giveaway. And I have left the giveaway prize over in the box, so I will be right back. So, as I said last week, I wanted to do giveaways throughout Vlogmas because I kind of feel like not only is Christmas the season of giving, um, but we've all had a challenging year, haven't we? I think everyone can say that. Um, so we all need an extra little bit of joy. So. I have dug out for this week's giveaway a set of my um, Nostalgia Club mini skeins. This was from the 1980s Nostalgia Club um, and this is this week's prize. Um, so I picked up the mini skein inspiration sheet because I couldn't remember what they all were. There is Super Mario which is the red and blue. Um, there is The Jolly Postman, which was a book by um, Janet and Alan Alberg, which was one of my favourite books growing up and was published in the 1980s. Purple Rain, inspired by the Prince song. Um, oh, Jamaican bobsled team, um, because they 
uh, in the 1988 Winter Olympics, um, Jamaica had the bobsleigh team, which then obviously went on to inspire the film Cool Runnings, um, which was one of my favourite films growing up. My dad was obsessed with it. And um, yeah, so there you go, 1988 Winter Olympics and the first CDs, because the first CDs came out in the 1980s. Um, so there you go, that is the Nostalgia Club from the 1980s. Um, and how can you win them? Let me think of a keyword. What can we think of a keyword for the 1980s? Um, so if you put in your comment, I have no idea. I really enjoyed the way that you all used Christmas cake in your comments for the last entry. That was quite amusing. So let's go with mince pies. I'll pop it on the screen. Make sure you actually say mince pies with an S on the end um, because that's how the comment picker will work. But yeah, mince pies. Add that to your comment somehow down below. And again, I will draw the winner on um, Friday's video. So you'll have nearly a week because I know that nobody can keep up with Vlogmas. Right, I am gonna leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of all our handmade blankets and I hope you enjoy the giveaway. And I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday for us, so I don't know what we're up to, but I'm sure we'll find something to do. <laughs> see you then, bye.